Hey friends, Ingrid here from the Netherlands, AK Rocking Lupa. Today it's Monday, July 16th, 2012, and it's about 8 o'clock in the evening here in Holland, so let's say 8 pm. And um, I think about an, uh, half an hour ago, I just heard the very sad news that one of the biggest musicians in rock history has lost his, his battle against cancer on the age of 71. And of course, I mean one of the greatest keyboard players in at least the hard rock music. And of course, I'm talking about John Lord. Today he passed away and of course it, his death isn't really um, unexpected because we already knew for a couple of months he was fighting against this terrible disease and we already sort of knew that he wouldn't recover you know only a miracle could save his life you could say and um, so we knew for already a couple of months that this day was coming but um, you know uh, with the passing of John Lord we I think we definitely lost another uh, icon in hard rock music, you know, just like, uh, for example, um, uh, Ronnie James Dio was a very huge icon in hard rock music, but also John Lord, you know, um, and uh, I definitely, I basically think that, uh, you know, uh, bands like Deep Purple. Uh, Rainbow, Black Sabbath, they just really opened doors for other uh, nowadays days very well known heavy metal bands, you know. Um, I think that bands like uh, Metallica, Iron Maiden, you know, etc. that maybe they just uh, wouldn't exist today if uh, in the beginning of the 70s there, uh, uh, there were no bands like uh, Rainbow, Black Sabbath or Deep Purple, you know. And um, bands like Deep Purple, they started something different in, in you know, playing heavy music. Um, you know, uh, of course, I think that uh, among others, uh, Jimi Hendrix, for example, he uh, started to play the guitar in a very different way. In a, you know, and of course, uh, I think that heavy bands like Deep Purple, etc., they were really inspired by uh, Jimi Hendrix. But what uh, Jimi Hendrix was. Uh, for uh, you know heavy metal guitarists John Lord was really to uh, many many keyboard players you know um, he was such a big inspiration and he his his of course the, the way he played Hammond organ is just you know it's almost immortal and um, so, uh, you know, and immediately when you hear uh, something 
uh, from uh, a Hammond organ, you immediately, immediately know that it was played by John Lord. And um, so we, I definitely think that uh, we really lost a big musician today. And um, so, uh, yeah, it's almost dark here. Uh, in the attic of my house, so I just can't make this uh, video uh, very long and uh, otherwise I don't think it's vi visible enough in the camera anymore but uh, I uh, definitely, uh, uh, you know, think that this video couldn't wait until tomorrow I just had to do this uh, today uh, because I just wanted to pay uh, just a little respect to John Lord and um, you know, uh, also of course because I'm singing in a hard rock band myself, uh, you know, um, I'm just very much into heavy music, you know, and so also Deep Purple is just one of my uh, inspirations, you could say. So um, yeah, you know, it's it's a very very sad day today and um, yeah uh, of course I have a couple of, of Deep Purple records but uh, I also have this record by John Lord himself and uh, Sarah Band it's called and it's very great music very uh, recommended if you're a John Lord fan so uh, if you don't have this yet yeah it's really highly recommended so if you can get it somewhere please grab it it's uh, yeah it's awesome music and um, you know and um, yeah you know um, I only wanted to make a very short video today and I only want to uh, pay respect to John Lord so, um, yeah, John Lord, rest in peace, man.